Kyle from Geek Factor Radio, and we are here with Damian Elop Mathias. Elop, thank you so much for talking with us. It's a pleasure, guys. Looking forward. Uh, thanks for having us in Utah. Yeah. No, we absolutely are excited to have you guys here. That's thank awesome. So, Elop, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself? And sure. Rika just went on and on about all the crazy experiences you have. And, crazy you know. experiences. Uh, I started off in the business in 85 with a guy by the name of uh, LL Cool J. We grew up together as kids in New York City and Queens. And... Uh, it snowed, it snowed about three and a half feet of snow one day. We was in junior high school, S- school was shut down. So I said, yo guys, let's go to the rich part of town, make some money shoveling snow. So we went over there. On our way there, I said, hey guys, let's make it a little interesting. Let's do a contest. Whoever makes the most money shoveling snow, uh, give each person 150 to 200 bucks. It's a great, make it 200. No problem, after my first house, I got 250. I mean, there's a huge mansion yeah, yeah, in New York City. Yeah. Three feet of snow out there is a lot, right? So uh, I called my brother. He came and got me. Everybody was like, oh, you're a little punk. You quit it. And I said, oh, I'll be right back. I took my 250, went to a, the hardware store, came back with a snowblower. Yours truly won the contest. There you go. That's how I thought, <laughs> even from junior high on. Exactly. Yeah. But on the music side, I started off with uh, LL, produced his first four CDs, Radio Bells, I Need a Beat. Uh, after that, we did a movie called Crush Groove. It was a groundbreaking film at that time. It was a film distributed by Warner Brothers. It's kind of based on the life, the early life of Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin, okay. how they launched Def Jam. Blair Underwood played Russell. It starred Run DMC, Blair Underwood, uh, New Edition, Sheila E., and Curtis Blow. And uh, we had a small little part in the movie, and we walked in the room. They said, no more auditions. And we, did, we said box, and we just started doing radio. And Jam Master Jay, rest in peace, him and Rick Rubin act like they were going to shoot us. And we stopped, we walked out. But we stole the movie yeah. with that little scene. Uh-huh. Everybody went to the, re- to the record stores, because at that time there was no digital, no internet. And uh, everybody went to the store to get the soundtrack. And they said, let me get that soundtrack from Crush Groove called Radio. And they gave them our CD. Oh, yeah? So we sold about a million five copies of radio. Wow. And uh, the rest is history. That's awesome. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. So after working with our LL, uh, we did a Def Jam 87 tour. It was LL Cool J, Houdini, Public Enemy, and Eric Van Rock came. It was our tour. So we were heading out west, and our booking agency, uh, Carol Lewis, over at Norby Walters, Carol said, hey, I got this group. They're just breaking. In L.A., on the West Coast, they taking off. No songs is on the radio, but everybody's buying their cassette. I'm like, really? Okay. Sounds interesting, because we were on every station. So I'm like, how how's everybody buying this group's music if it's not on the radio? Yeah. Let's meet these guys. It was N.W.A. Really? <laughs> it was great, oh cute, easy, God. rest in peace, MC Ren, uh, Yellow. And uh, it was an incredible show, because at that time, when they performed... The mayor and the police commissioner came to our hotels. They said, hey, guys, check this out. If you guys do that song yeah. after police, yeah. you guys getting arrested oh. on the spot. So every night, Cube and Dre said, hey, you know what? On the way to the building, after they did all the other songs, they said, hey, you know, on the way to the building, we had a problem with this guy in the uniform. Fuck the police coming straight. And all of a sudden... They would be leaving in cuffs every night they would get arrested. So, yeah, that was the hype of the show, man. Every but night was a sellout across the country. For sure. That's yeah. awesome. So you must be pretty excited about this new movie, Straight Outta Compton, coming out. That's I can't pretty... wait to yeah. see it because we were part of the birth of hip-hop on the East Coast because we were actually the first artists on Def Jam that opened up the uh, floodgates for Interscope, for Cash Money Records, and... We actually witnessed the rise of hip hop on the West Coast with the NWA because yeah. they opened up for us, and it was a pleasure having those guys. It was a pleasure being a part of that whole experience. Yeah, no, that's incredible, yeah. and just you know the experience that you had, and now I mean working with Rika and and moving forward, it really looks like you're trying to share that experience that you've had, and and this uh, new project, or if you're able to talk about it that you were mentioning on the way over, is there anything you can tell us about that? Or sure, it's called a Hollywood Dream. Uh, Hollywood Dream is a reality show that me and my partner, Rika Marnaka, put together. I'm the director, we're the writer, producers of it. Each city that we go to, because we're going to like 15 cities, uh, each city has, you know, their own Comic-Con-like event, yeah. like yeah. this right here in uh, Utah, Salt Lake Game, Gaming Con. 
each city that we go to, we're looking for a rapper and a singer under the age of 20. I don't want a 50-year-old rapper trying to spit lyrics. <laughs> yeah. I don't need that. 15 <laughs> to 20, I need you young, uh, barely can drive. That's what I'm looking for because I like to work with young artists yeah. because you're able to mold and a guy 35, he, he don't want to listen to me. He exactly. thinks he knows everything. And yeah. We're going to bump heads, <laughs> but you always bump heads. So I don't need anybody 35, 15 to 20. Uh, so my that might still live at home would be great. Yeah. And uh, we're looking for that artist so we can put them in this house at the end of the season and work with different people and figure out, the figure out, let the people online vote who they like the best. And then the winner of that contest we're going to release on our mobile video game app that's going to promote Hollywood Dream. Yeah. And then we're going to uh, shoot that video, launch them out. My partner in the L.A. DJ Ski is going to do the remix. DJ Ski is a world-famous DJ. I'm not sure yeah. if you guys are familiar with not Ski, yet, yeah. but he's done mixes for everybody, that's parties cool. for everybody. He has a show on TV right now on our Axis, Mark Cuban's uh, network. Okay. It's a major show. Yeah. It's in about 60 million households. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's sweet. Well, Elif, thank you so much for talking with us. It was a pleasure, guys. We're excited. Hope everything goes well with this, this I, new thing. I and believe it will. Yeah, Absolutely. I believe it too. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah, for sure. No thank doubt. you Looking so much. Forward. Yeah.